Hi, this is Julie with Bita Halik, and today I want to show you how to make the Falling Leaves Necklace and Earring Kit, and this is the exclusive kit from BitaHalik.com. And this is the necklace that you're going to make. It's got these pretty lucite leaves dangling from some gold-plated chain. And then here's one of the earrings. I'm going to make the second one in the video. And you can see they've got a really a fun sound to them as you walk them. Sound like wind chimes. Really fun and festive. Now when you get the kit, you're going to get all these ingredients here. And it's enough supplies to make the necklace and the pair of earrings. So you're going to get two earring hooks. You're going to get 13 little gold-plated jump rings a lobster clasp, two larger jump rings, three feet of gold-plated chain, and then you're going to get three of these kind of gold yellow maple leaves, three of these brown leaves, and three of the red maple leaves. So this project is a great project for beginners because it's not very hard. You just basically have to know how to open and close jump rings. And you're going to start the project. Let's make an earring first. So we're going to make the matched piece, the matched earring for this one. And we're going to start by measuring one and a quarter inches of chain. So you're going to need a ruler for this project and you're going to need a pair of cutters and two pairs of pliers. Uh, two chain nose pliers would be fine, a round nose and a chain nose, whatever you want to use to open a jump ring. So we measured one and a quarter. Let me just remeasure that. One and a quarter and we're going to cut that link. So then for the second length we want to measure, we want to increase by a quarter inch. So we're going to cut, measure one and a half and cut. And then we're going to measure one and three quarters and make a cut. Now to attach a leaf onto your chain and you can arrange these any which way you want. You don't have to have the brown one be the shortest and the red one be the longest. You can put them on any which way you like. You're going to take a jump ring, grab it with a pair of pliers so that the open slit is up top. Then take your other pair of pliers, grasp it on the other end, and twist your jump ring open. You never want to pull a jump ring open. You always want to twist it. So link that through the hole at the top of your leaf, and then also link onto it, the end link of your chain. Go ahead and grab the other end of the jump ring and twist it back in place to its original shape. So we're gonna do that with two more leaves and your other two pieces of cut chain. Okay, you'll see here I cut my chain, but oops, there we go. The link was stuck on there. All I had to do was just give it a little nudge and it came off. And now I have a nice clean end link to link that onto and then also link it onto my leaf. Close the jump ring. Now to connect your three leaves together, you're going to take another jump ring, open it up, and then this time place onto it the last link of all three of your chains. And also the loop at the base of your earring hook. And then close that jump ring up. And you have your earring. So here we've made a matched set. You can see what that would look like. So to make the second earring, which we already had pre-made, you would just repeat the process that you did to make the first earring. Now, to make the necklace, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to start by cutting three lengths of chain, and it's going to be the same amount. We're going to do one and a quarter. One and a half. And one and three quarters. And we're going to repeat the process of putting our leaves onto the end of the chains. And 
them again. If you have, what happens is sometimes when these are when the chain is plated, the plating makes it so that part of the end chain link will actually stick. So all you have to do is give it a little nudge, and it'll just come right off. Now that we've got our leaves and our chains connected, we're gonna go ahead and open a small jump ring. Same process again that we did with the earring, where we're just gonna put the last chain link onto the jump ring for all three of them. Instead of the loop at the base of the earring, we're gonna link onto them a large jump ring. And we're gonna close this jump ring now. Now we're gonna go about creating our necklace chain. Now, if you were making two earrings, you would have already cut down some length on the earring because you would have cut another length at one and a quarter. I'm just gonna do this quickly so that we can get the right length of chain for our necklace. And then you would have create, cut a second length at one and a half. And another length at one and three quarters. And these are the chains that you would use to make your second earring. All right, so now we're gonna take our chain, because this is the right amount for the necklace now, and we're gonna thread it through that large jump ring and pull that down to the base. Now to attach our clasp, we're gonna take a small jump ring, and we don't wanna take a pair of cutters to open it, that won't work, but we're gonna take our two pairs of pliers, open that jump ring, Link onto it the loop at the base of your lobster clasp and link this to the end chain link on one side of your necklace and close it up. Go to the other side of your necklace. We're gonna open our last remaining large jump ring. Open it, link it to the end chain link and close it. And we have just completed our necklace. So I'm going to clear these items aside. So you've got a necklace, with these pretty falling leaves, and then you've got your pair of earrings. And this again is the Falling Leaves Necklace and Earring Kit, which is an exclusive kit through Beataholic.com. You can check it out along with a bunch of other festive holiday kits as well as ones that you can use every day.